I would like to say a few words about the European uh, superiority complex um, the, the, that the Europeans tend to think that they are more culturally and socially advanced than uh, Americans and Asians. I'm not talking about Africa because it's a clearly we can see that in Africa is not uh, it's un, it's underdeveloped and in, uh, both socially and culturally and um, on, despite they have their own independent the African countries have their own uh, uh, independence uh, for for many decades now they um, they are usually robbing each other and not helping at all not all African countries, for uh, thank God, but uh, like Namibia and Gabon or Botswana, they are sli slightly better examples of slightly be examples of slightly better um, uh, social development and and so on. But uh, let's concentrate on Europe and its relation towards Asia and America. Uh, in in uh, we uh, Europeans must accept the situation because it's so obvious now that most inventions are done in the United States and many are also done in Canada and so on and so on so we give Americans that but usually Europeans try to convince themselves and the Americans that they are more culturally advanced because we have much more monuments uh, historical monuments and so on for instance that we are not supporting the death penalty because we are not supporting interventions military inter interventions in Iraq or Libya and, and so on uh, or we are very reluctant to do so if we are doing it at all and uh, that we are like uh, not so Magdanaldian as the Americans are, that we uh, value more uh, the classical concerts and so on, classical music concerts and so on, the opera or something. No, 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 no. For instance, uh, death penalty, for instance. Uh, usually we, uh, we forget that the uh, rate, crime rate in European cities is far, is, is growing. And uh, and because of the Muslim problem, we will have now the very similar problem than the black problem in American cities. And the crime rate would be similar. It's the tendency. All tendencies show this. All all uh, all data shows it. And so uh, that the uh, that our thinking about ourselves as a safe continent may very well end shortly. And uh, about the death penalty. Death penalty is is doing a great job if you cannot have like a decade of appellations to the if different uh, courts and so on the different of of uh, lawyer wars and so on when there is so, such an obvious situation that a person murdered man, murdered many people at once or one after another and and there is a very huge evidence on this then this person should be hanged or something. Because, for instance, Breivik is now flourishing in his uh, luxury uh, prison. And I think it's something uh, which is so scandalous that I can hardly say about it calmly. Hardly. So, uh, I think that uh, if you have a real death penalty and in obvious situation you imply, apply it, and to to the uh, to the uh, to the murders that murder it more than one person because with one person it's possible that some of the evidence are not clear enough and so on okay but if you are just implicated in two murders okay and and, and you have a huge evidence I think the person should be hanged so I think it's the cultural and moral upper ground for Americans and I salute Americans to have the death penalty for the I think that the, the, uh, from the uh, in the post World War II period, there was only one mistake, one mistake for five thousand death uh, penalties uh, in the United States, which were really executed because uh, not all of them are really executed. Many of them are just uh, death penal penalties changed to life imprisonment. Very often, far too often. But uh, so it's it's possible that you can make a mistake, 
And to avoid this mistake, I would support the, the situation in which you apply death penalty only to those who murdered one person, then uh, given the, the, the other chance murdered another person, and the, the, the person like that should be hanged. Or the person like Breivik, who obviously was murdering for, for many, for, for a long time, uh, uh, people in a mass murder, it should be uh, hanged. Uh, and I think the uh, this is the cultural um, that the Americans are standing on the higher moral ground here than the Europeans. The other thing is the, the intervention and non-intervention policy. Europe cannot could not do anything about Milosevic. Uh, even Milosevic was too hard for Europe. So Americans is America, United States of America is really our shield. And when the person who is feeble, and the European armies are relatively feeble. The uh, the Europe the, the most powerful European armies is the uh, army of France. Uh, it's the um, position, position number five on the world list. Uh, then French, uh, the, the British, then the French, and on the position number eight is Germany. So not very impressive. So um, of course the feeble is usually tend to uh, pose as a philosopher. No, I am not a violent person. I I I, I prefer diplomacy. And the real the the real uh, the real cause for this is that he has no power. Uh, the same, for instance, um, I am very grateful to United States. I'm not one of those ungrateful Europeans who is not grateful for protecting us from Russia. If there were no United States in the world, I'm sure we would be slaves of Putin or someone uh, from uh, on the uh, on, on, and on the Russian government. It's 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 that sure. So uh, so I'm very grateful to the United States, and I think that it's good to be strong, and it's good to be uh, morally strong. The, um, we are always complaining about waterboarding, which is not real a real torture. Uh, it went proper, properly applied. Okay, okay there is some uh, there is some uh, controversy on this topic, and it's a good thing that there is a controversy. Uh, but we must forget that the Chinese would put a rat in the anus in the anus of a prisoner very easily and without any uh, problems, uh, well, legal problems. They just would do it, and the Russians would like put a hot water. From, uh, from the bucket, uh, throw the hot water from the bucket on the prisoner's head. It's a very, very common uh, uh, prisons. So, and we're not talking nothing. So we are really picking on America here, and I think it's uh, wrong. Uh, the other, the cultural thing, you, the new, uh, the, the the capital of film filmmaking is Hollywood as usual. The capital of the fashion and the and the um, uh, and uh, the, the capital of our every painter in the world is New York. The capital of fashion is New York. Sometimes Milan. Okay. Uh, the capital of um, architecture, Chicago, New York. Definitely not nothing in Europe. Uh, the capital of uh, I don't know uh, classical music in the United States uh, uh, per annum. Uh, the exact, the about exact the same, exact same number of uh, classical uh, music pieces are composed uh, like in uh, Europe every year. So, not very impressive for Europe. Okay, Asia. We also pick on Asia, and we like uh, we are talking like uh, the, the, for instance the Chinese. Oh, they are naturally authoritarian. They need to have a whip on them, and so on. They they have to be uh, under tyranny. No, they don't, and they prove they don't. They don't because, for instance, um, the Asians are also in Taiwan and Hong Kong. So not even the Chinese, not even the Co Confucian authoritarian Chinese must be aut really authoritarian. They can be liberal and more liberal than Hungarians, for instance, more liberal than Russians today. We have also Japan that beats Europe. Uh, they, of course, they tend to tend to be very nationalistic as usual. It's a traditional uh, Japanese approach, but uh, they are also very liberal in many domains of social life. Are very, they are uh, better than than Europe in many on many fields, and, and for instance, 
on uh, fighting crime and so on. So, uh, and the culture is fine also. So, um, don't be so proud, European. And, and I would like to uh, stress this very seriously, that I am not one of those lousy Europeans who criticize themselves as a sport and uh, made us this self-pity uh, as a, as a sp European sport. That, oh, we were so these bloody colonials. No, we are not the only colonials. The Arabs, and, uh, the Arabs in the Middle Ages and in the early modern per period were far worse than we were. For instance, the, the Chinese today, they are far more harsh than the uh, most colonists uh, uh, from the great uh, European age of colonialism were. And, uh, and the Africans are noticing it uh, they, because they are not uh, politically correct. They are just observing what they see. And um, the colonialism could be very different. Uh, they were the Indians. They usually, for the, in, in India, they usually try to uh, find something uh, positive in the European colonialism. They are very grateful that they have the British institutions and law and so on. And um, uh, but on the other hand, you would have the private colony of Belgian Congo which is not really Belgian, it was a private colony of Leopold II and it was taken for the atrocities he made, he committed there. It was taken away from him and very good and cheers to the Belgium, to the Belgians. Uh, and so uh, don't be so proud, European, and don't be so uh, self-hating, but don't be so proud in relation to other continents. The situation is far different than in, I don't know, Baroque era than you, you had you would you would have a crumbling China on the other on one hand and and Native Americans on on the on the other and not so many settlements made by colonists. The, the, the world has changed, so don't be self-hating, but also don't be so proud in relation to people from other uh, uh, continents.